Hi, Peter here from the SharePad support team. Did you know that you can customize the Market View page on SharePad? Let me show you how. Now that the Market Design window is open, let's customize what indexes are being displayed. To do this, click the Add button. Here you will see a list of different indexes. To make a selection, click on the index name. You will notice that it is highlighted blue. This means it is currently selected. To deselect it, if you change your mind, click once more. In this instance, I'm going to add the FTSE 350 to the Rises and Fallers section. Now that I've selected the FTSE 350, I'm going to click OK, Save. You will know that you have done this correctly if you can see that the FTSE 350 or the index of your choice has been added to this section here. To save these changes, click OK. Now that we have made changes to the Markets View page, let's go and have a look at them. If we scroll down until we get to the Rises and Fallers section, you will notice that a new table has appeared. In this instance, it's the FTSE 350, however, this could be an index of your choice. Here you can see that a total of three risers and three fallers are being displayed for the FTSE 350. We can actually change the amount of results that are being displayed via the design menu. So once again, right click on one of the company names, and select risers and fallers design, you'll notice that on the market design page, there is a section that says free instruments. If we click in this box and increase the value, in this instance, I'm going to go for 20 and click OK to save that change. You'll notice that the market view page refreshes once more and that the table has increased how many results it's displaying. At some point in the future, you may find yourself wanting to customize or remove some indexes from the Rises and Fallers section. To do so, let's head back into the Rises and Fallers design via the right click menu. And let's focus our attention on these boxes here. If you would like to remove an index, we can click and drag it onto the trash can. Once you have done that, Click OK to save these changes. Now that the page is refreshed, if we scroll down till we get to the Rises and Fallers section, you can now see that those tables have disappeared. The logic of editing the Rises and Fallers by the right click menu is a transferable skill over to the News High slash Lows. If we right click on one of the companies in the New High slash Lows, and select the design menu, we can customize the indexes being displayed.